Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a good week and I'm glad I've been able to see you a few times this week. Today, I am going to be kind of out of it. You can probably tell by looking at me. Bridgie <laughs> has had like a past history of having a lot of urinary tract infections. And so yesterday I could kind of tell that I thought she it might be coming on because what happens is she'll potty in the house, you know, in a weird place because she's real good about asking to go outside. So I am a pro at getting it, going out with her to go to the bathroom, getting a sample or a specimen and taking it to the doctor. And so that's what I had to do yesterday afternoon. And I had to take her in this morning because it's happened so much and she's only five years old, they thought they might have to do a, like a um, x-ray. Well, then he called me and said that her bilirubin was high. This might be too, Bridget might not appreciate me telling you her business. <laughs> Anyway, um, so he was going to run a blood, some blood work and may have to, he's thinking there may be something wrong with her liver. I don't know, but it's got my nerves kind of shook up and I ended up going back to sleep this morning. I laid down when I got home because I was just kind of wiped out and my nerves were shot. And then I woke up and got in the shower and my hair is just yuck. And I tried, I think every single makeup product that I got and I don't know if they all kind of go together so anyway I'm just not I'm just not with it and I feel freaked out about Bridget and so I am just going to show you everything that I got real quick and maybe um, tomorrow or Sunday I'll come back and tell you my favorites or something that I've tried or something like that so let's see probably one of the most exciting things that I got yesterday I went on my little expedition to find some of the um, eyeshadows that you guys told me about some of those do I have that magazine out here still yes I do looking for an eyeshadow kind of like that that this girl's got on and as you can see you guys led me in the perfect direction now I didn't really try this look today I didn't know how these all really worked so it was kind of like an experiment which was probably a mistake but I wanted to you know be able to show you so one that you guys told me over and over to get was the L'Oreal Infallible in Amber Rush, I think. Yeah, Amber Rush. And so I got that at Ulta, and that is gorgeous. And here, I'll try to do, we'll do swatches, even though I don't have much time, because now it is 124, and I've got to leave it two to go get Will. So that's Amber Rush, which is gorgeous. I mean, that's probably the most spot on color. Okay, then a color that, okay, um, Wet n Wild Penny was one color and we went to Walgreens and they didn't have it. So, and that was while Brooke, right after her tutoring. So I didn't have a chance to even look at that one. Okay, this one is my favorite. Brianna told me about a couple of these. This is the MAC. Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in Let Me Pop. This by far is my favorite as far as just the ease of it. Okay, here's the swatch. See, it's right here. It's this one. Ah, this one, yeah. And this is what I have on as a base today. And really, on a day-to-day -day basis, this would make a beautiful eye just on its own. It's just a gorgeous paint pot. And I like it so much better because I asked her, you know, I tried Rubenesque and I wasn't crazy about Rubenesque. So I asked her what the difference was. And this one is lighter. It's not as, it's more on the peachy tone than the, it's not as dark. It's not as harsh, I don't think. And it seems to me not as shimmery. A little thinner feeling I don't know if you know just the formula might be a little different or what but anyway you know I can't stand that on there and then she was telling me that sometimes she puts over it let's see I can't remember what color she told me if it was this one or not one of you told me chopper a couple of you told me chopper so I know I probably got this in a palette somewhere but I went ahead and bought chopper urban decay because I went and swatched them and I loved it. It is so pretty. So there's Chopper. And let's see, yeah, Brianna said that she loved this color 
for like a base with that paint pot or no, to go over that paint pot, I think. Anyway, I'd never anyway I'd never heard of it. It's ABC Gum by Urban Decay, and it's just a great like base color. I love it. It's so pigmented to be a color like this. So I did put that on today. Like, see how good it covers. So I got that, and then the girl that was helping me swatch at Urban Decay said she loved this color, and my hair is really getting on my nerves. You're going to see the conservative <laughs> look today. So it is Roach, <laughs> which that name's funny. And, you know, when I look at it, I was like, no, nah, that's not what I'm looking for. But when she showed it to me, it was so pretty, I got it anyway. It's just such a pretty brown, and it really does blend out to be kind of like a rosy gold brown. Isn't that beautiful? So really, that would be good to work with those colors like that. So I got those. And then the other thing I didn't mention, see, um, I don't think I did during my little wine session, is I have a really bad headache. I don't know what's going on, but that was one of the reasons I laid down. I took a um, an Advil, and it's one of those headaches that kind of like goes from here all the way back to, you know, like in my neck. And, um... Oh, so I'm still trying to shake that. Okay, I, let's see, did a swap with my friend B, and she, I swapped her the Bronze and Glow and the Burberry Prune lipstick. Some good things that I had only used once that just I thought would work better for her. And a, let's see, it was a YSL lip liner. And she sent me... She sent me three Smashbox trios. Let's see. I know they have a name. Um, this one. Oh, it's got Serpent in it. I can't. Boy, that's got like a rosy gold. Anyway, and this one. Okay, Skybox. Does that one not have a name? I'm not sure. And then this one, which is a light colored multi flash. And she sent me. Gosh, she sent me a couple boxes of stuff. Um, this is one of them. She said that she got for me just to wear in the wintertime. It's the Chubby Stick Baby Tint in Coming Up Rosy. And I haven't tried it yet, so let's swap. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I can't maybe. do that. Oh, goodness, B. I'll have to um, maybe send that back to... <laughs> this is how my day is going, really. Okay. So she sent me that. She sent me some hair stuff to try that she likes. The um, anti-breakage twist shine texturizer from Pureology. Let's see some Cogendo wipes. Um, oh goodness, what else? I know she sent me, oh yeah, I've got some other stuff coming. And oh yeah, she sent me this bag of goodies from Macy's. And I think they shipped the lipstick that she got me separate than the gift. But it was a Macy's bag and then a like a cell phone type bag from Elizabeth Arden. And then it has the glosses in it. And it has the clear gloss. And then look at these precious little glosses, the Elizabeth Arden glosses. That color really looks like my color. So all that stuff. And then she sent me, like I said, a lipstick that maybe I'll get to show you later on this weekend. I'm going to try really hard to make another video because... I know this one's not going to be that great, but I didn't want to do just nothing. Okay, so, um, oh, and she sent me this, too. I used this today. This is one of my favorite things that she sent. It's a Kevin O'Quan eye pencil, and the name is, is it Defining Navy? Yes. I have this on my lower waterline, and it is beautiful. Look how pretty that color is. You can tell. And it's just like almost the exact same color of my eyes. So I love that. And I've had it on for about 30 minutes or so. So the fact that it hasn't run too much yet is a good sign. Okay. I just got a, I came out of my room and looked at the door and it was so funny. I had a stack of packages outside and two kitties looking in the door. I took a picture. So I'll put it at the end of this video, but I ordered this lip liner that I believe Tammy told me about this. She said that it was real similar to on the Dior Linen, but anyway, I figured it was going to be a good one. It's the Guerlain Boys de Indies, and ooh, it is pretty. Just a good neutral. You guys know I need one of these. <laughs> Never enough. I'll probably have 
15 lip liners like that, but I was ordering from Sephora and I remembered it, so I wanted to give it a try. And then I ordered this. One of you told me that you really liked the Kiss and Blush Baby Doll Lip and Cheek Stain in, it's the nude one, Nude Insulin. And you said that I would like it for lips and for my cheeks. Here it goes. I haven't even looked at it. I just literally just got it. So let's put it on. Oh gosh, let me show you what I've got on first. I watched a video yesterday with Natalie, Natalie Anna. She had this on with another lip liner with it. And I grabbed it last night when we were at Walgreens. It is the Revlon Matte Balm in, let's see, what is the color? It was one I hadn't heard of. Okay, here it is. Oh my goodness. It's number 230. And um, I will put the name down here. My eyes really, they hurt. I've got one of those. My aunt used to call them an eyeball headache. And um, so I have this on right now. So let me, let's see. Let me, do I have okay, a tissue? So there we have, have like no lips. So my hair is just wanting to part funny today. So let's do this lip liner, the Guerlain lip liner I just got. Let's just wing it. Goes on smooth. Now that is a perfect lip liner. Good one, Tammy. I like that. And then let's use this nude insulin. This is a good, this is a good nude. I can see how this would be a good blush too. Yeah, that is pretty. Okay, much better. That brightens me up a little bit. Yep. So, good one. Thank you. And I will try this. This would be, this I think would be a good blush color. So, there goes that. And I don't want to miss anything. Okay. And I think, okay, Tammy sent me another package. I got it yesterday. She saw where Natalie, the same Natalie, recommended that I try this. For my hair it is the s factor smoothing lusterizer defrizzer and tamer and i think who is this by it reminds me of that potion number nine but i'm not sure who it's by oh tg so this i have this in my hair today but in all fairness i did not take as much time as i would and i after i sleep on it it would be smoother but it still did good considering I didn't, this is just blown out. I didn't flat iron it or anything. So thank you, Tammy, and thank you, Natalie, for telling me about this. I really like it, and it's um, very shiny, lusterizer. You can tell it's got a real luster to it. So, and you know, blondes, we always need that. So I did use that today along with the that 11 spray, and I've used that shampoo and conditioner that I told you about yesterday. I've used it three times now because I took a shower last night and this morning. This morning I took one because I felt like I needed it to, uh, to wake up and maybe revive me a little bit, but who knows if that worked. Okay, this is, um, I bet I've already stained my lips, but yesterday I had this crazy list of all these things that you guys had told me about all week, and it was stuff, you know, for next time I went to Sephora, next time I go to the Dior counter and Ulta and all kinds of stuff and it was all those eyeshadows that you told me to get. So I headed off yesterday, stopped by Ulta and then I went to Sephora and then I went to Dillard's and that is where my Dior counter is. And I just hit the jackpot at Dillard's. They are having an event, oh goodness, I laid that thing on it. They are having an event next week, September 25th through 27th and it is a foundation frenzy event. And you save $15 on a foundation that is valued at $50 or more. Well, that is, you know, almost all the foundations at Dior. And then most of them, it's, it's a lot of foundations that are over 50. And then save 10 on a foundation valued at 30 to 49 and five on a foundation valued at 29 or less. And so I am told them I would tell you guys about this and so they let me take advantage of this early and it was a good thing because I had on my mind I wanted a foundation 
that was more like the tone that Dina Manzo had on. So I ended up getting the Star Foundation in the number 33. And I used it today, but I don't know, I didn't, I used it with a sample of powder that I got from Sephora. It was a Tarte, one of those Amazonian clay powders. And I don't know if that's what I would use over it again, but the color is just gorgeous. It's called apricot. So it's not too yellow, not too beige. You know, it's just kind of in between. And I love it. It is a beautiful color. And it just, when she put it on my neck, it just matched. It just like went right into my skin. So I ended up getting that color also in the Dior Nude. Last night I tried one on one side and one on the other and Brooke really liked this better. This really has a good glow and I haven't used this in a long, long time. I think I tried it years ago, probably two or three years ago. And then this is another one that I haven't tried in a long, long time. And I was reading that Dina Manzo, a lot of times she gets airbrushed and it made me think about the Dior Air Flash and how much I used to love it. So I picked up the 301, which is more of the yellow tone because the other one, I think the neutral was too gray. So I picked up the yellow tone. And of course I would never take the pink tone because I'm not, that isn't my tone and I don't wanna, I don't wanna bring out any more redness in my skin. So I took advantage of that special. And then I picked up a few more things that I had on my list. I had on my list yesterday, the Lancome Art Liner because I really like when I use that, but mine was drying up. So I asked her how the Dior one was and she said she loved it, of course. And then when I looked at it, I love it when they have a good long top or tip like that and because you can get right down in there and then you can really do that easy wing where you kind of lay it on the side and then just drag it over and so I got that and I love it. I played with it last night and I used it today on my wings and loved it. So this might be my new favorite. I'll just have to see. My goodness, it sounds like somebody's knocking on the door. Chanel? Oh gosh, I bet it was one of them, maybe in the litter box or playing one of them. Anyway, so we'll see how you know quick this runs out. That will that usually makes or breaks it. So then one of the eyeshadows that I saw there that I thought might be good for this look was this one. And it is the one that the girls got on in the ad where she's got real blonde hair and bright lips and then just a little light pink eyeshadow and it is gorgeous. And I actually have this on top of all the other ones in the crease. And that's what really gave it the most pigment was this color. And I, I like it. I need something else. I don't know if I need more bronzer or what, but I love this eyeshadow, very pretty. And this would actually look good to blend out another color. So I got this and then I got two blushes. One of them, I had the intentions of just getting one. It was one that Brianna's sister said that she loved and it just sounded like one that I thought I would like. And when she showed it, it was real pretty. And it is called Brown Millie. And it's actually kind of like a plum color. It reminds me of maybe like, here I'll take the cover, like the Dior Accent. It is that color that's kind of like a brownish, plummy, prune, you know, that wine type color, mauvey, mauvey brown type color, real pretty. And I use, I did one, this on one side of my cheeks last night and I did this on the Dior Nude side. And so Brooke chose this blush, but it might've been because of that foundation. And then this is the one I have on today. And this is called Mimi Bronze. And this is this color. So this one is, you know, more of the bronzy tone. And I have it on today. So it's still really natural, but more of a bronze color, kind of like the Chanel Rose Bronze or something like that. And let's see, I, I guess I'll keep them in these little cases for a little bit until I decide they're going to stay here. <laughs> and was that it? Yes, that was it there. Nope. I knew I had one more thing. And then I could not resist. I bought one more of these. I almost bought that red that she had on and it's still on my mind. And I know John doesn't like bright colors, but sometimes I just do it anyway. You know, if I know I'm not going to be like with him all day, 
but this color is so pretty and I'm not sure which I will put the name down here but I put this on last night and then blended it in with my finger so it wasn't quite so bright and it was just gorgeous I thought about wearing it today but see I was scared it would be too much with these eyes so I will wear this soon but gosh it is so pretty it's like when you put it on it's I love it's just like that gloss that I like it's so pigmented but it's still got that see-through like jello and um, it was just so pretty when I just blended it in my lips and it left kind of like a light color okay I have felt freaked out and I'm sure I've forgotten something oh and one thing I wanted to say about this is if you are going to try any of the Dior foundations and you want to get the, so that would be, would that be $15? Yeah, it would be $15 off of the Star Foundation. They are doing pre-sale. So you can call, I'll put their number down below and then you, they'll sell it and then I guess ship it out to you next Thursday. And um, that way you can get this. Okay, deal. the only thing I got this week for clothes is I stopped by Oliver to get another one of those shirts with the thumb holes and they were sold out and so they're going to save me one when it oh, gets back I picked up dream. one of the things that I saw last week even though it's too hot to wear it I didn't want them to sell out of this and I'm going to go get it put my shoes on and we'll do an outfit of the day when I Here show it, it to you I'll be right back and the picture let me let it focus Okay, so here it is, and the picture will not do it justice because what is so fabulous about this is the way it feels. It is one of the softest feeling things ever. I mean, when you feel it, it is so snugly, and it's by the brand Soft by Joie, and it's just, I love that the sleeves are fitted, and it's like a big sweatshirt type thing. Kelly said that she could probably wear it as a dress. Yes. Try to move this slowly so it will focus. There you go. And then I, this is what I loved is the hemline. So it's got kind of like an asymmetrical hemline. And I am hoping that I can wear like one of my faux leather mini skirts underneath it. And I think that would look pretty or with leggings. I'm always looking for something really good to wear with leggings and like my fry boots, my moto boots, um, or even like if you have this high Stuart Weitzman boots or something like that. So I today I have on those pants. I believe I showed these to you last week. I got them on the sale rack at Oliver and I told you I, I, they had a 24 and a 30 left. I'm not sure if they still do. And um, they're like a cropped jean. They're J brand. And I love the zippers and I love that they're that uh, fabric that almost looks like leather. And then this top, I think, is from Gap or something. It's old. And um, no belt. And then my shoes are the black patent Stuart Weitzman Nouveau pumps, which they're just my favorite pumps. I mean, out of all of them. These and the Valentino pumps are probably the most comfortable. And so that is the outfit of the Nail day. polish. This is one of those ones that Tammy gave me. I will put the name of it. It's one of the Deborah Morgan, I think or Morgan, I can't remember, the Morgan something. I'll put it down in what I'm wearing. And um, I've got on my, these are some of my favorite earrings from Sheila Fajal. They're the oval wavy hoops or oval wavy dangle earrings or something. I've got them on my website, but they're very light and I just, they're easy to throw on and different. And a bird necklace, I think I might have a few of these left. When in doubt, I can throw this on and it always just adds something. And I should have probably added a few more things onto it, but I'm just probably not in the mood today. And um, I actually do have a fragrance on because when I was getting ready, I sprayed a little bit of that NUX fragrant body spray and, um, you know, tried to get in the mood. But um, so that's what I have on. So now it is 151 and I'm on my way to go get in the pickup line to get Will and then I get to go get Bridget. I think he said I could come get her this afternoon. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will either see you again tomorrow or maybe Sunday. Either way. And I will see you then. Bye bye.